putting my phone on charge. Welcome back, sir. Whew. Taking it off charge. What's up guys, the Tech Spy here, and this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get custom charging sounds on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This is so, so cool, and I'm super excited to show you guys how to do this. And this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get Iron Man sounds, you can make, play music every time you plug in, or you can even just have custom text, which is amazing. Before I start, be sure to smash that like button and let's get started. Alright, so I will be showing you guys everything you guys can do in this one video to make everything super simple and easy to follow. And now let's start out with the basics. To make it speak text every time you plug in a device, so for example, I have it on this phone to make it say hey every time I plug in. And Siri will say that, by the way. Anyways. Hey. You guys can see that every time it plugs in, it says, hey. So you can make it say anything that you want, which is really, really cool. So to do this, all you will need is the Siri Shortcuts app. Now, all the links that I mentioned will be down below in the description. But anyways, all you need is this app. Let's go to open this up. And what you want to do then is head over to the middle tab, which is called Automation. Now, we're going to create a new personal automation and scroll all the way bottom to the tap on Charger. So tap on Charger. And over here, you can select is connected or is disconnected. So we're going to be doing it for when we connect our device. So I'm going to just make sure that one is checked, but let's go hit next and what you want to do then is tap on add action And what we're going to do over here in the search is type speak text, okay? Speak text just like that and it should pop up just tap on speak text and you can just go over here to the text and type in whatever you wanted to say So for example, yo, this is the actually I'm just gonna do the tech spot cool So I'm just gonna make it say that so I just hit next and it's like this, what you want to do is tap on this button right here to disable this because we did not want to ask before running, we just wanted to run automatically. So tap on don't ask and that part is good. So then tap on done and we are done. So if I'm going to exit out of here, you guys can see now if I'm going to plug in this device. Yo, this is the tech spot. <laughs> So that's so cool. Now, of course, you do have to make sure your phone is not on vibrate. It's on non-muted and that your volume is up, okay? Otherwise, you will not be able to hear it, but... Yo, this is the tech spot. Again, you can do the same thing for when you disconnect your device. You can have it say something else. So you have two separate commands. So again, all you would have to do is go back over to the shortcuts app. Boom. And then you would have to just create a new automation. Create personal automation. Head down over to charger. And this time, you would select is disconnected just like that and then hit next add action and then again speak text and boom it's like that good bye since we are taking it off charge and your phone is going away but anyways just hit oh wait i forgot to hit something let's go back over here ask before running make sure that you disable that okay otherwise it will prompt you every time and you do not want to do that you just wanted to have it run automatically so hit done and now it'll say both of those so when i go to plug in Yo, this is the tech spot. And then when I unplug. Goodbye. Yo, that's so cool. Okay, so that part is done, okay? Now, there's other ways you could do this. So, you could also have it play music. So, I'm going to delete these first. All I got to do is swipe and delete, swipe and delete. Now, to add music, all you got to do is tap on create personal automation. Head back over to charger. Same whole deal. It's connected. Next. And tap on add action. And this time, what we're going to do is hit play music and there it is so tap on play music and you can go and tap right here you can have it to play songs on shuffle you can repeat songs now this only works if you have apple music unfortunately i do not have apple music so this will not work for me but from here it's again the same thing all you gotta do is hit next turn this off don't ask hit done and then it would play your apple music every time you plug in, which is really, really cool. Now, again, I do not have Apple Music, so I cannot show you guys this, unfortunately. I use Tidal and Spotify, so yeah. Now, for the third method that I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically have any sound file that you have, an Iron Man sound, the new Air Power sound, and you could have that as your charging sound, which is really, really cool. Now, this one does take a few more steps, but I promise it's super simple. So... On this device, that's what I have. So as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I do have an Iron Man sound effect that plays every time I put this device on charge, so... Welcome back, sir. Whew! Taking it off charge. Wakanda forever! 
it's pretty cool you could have whatever you want the air power one so i will also have the sound files linked down below in the description but anyways to do this again you will need a series shortcuts app first and once you have that first thing you have to do is just go to my shortcuts and just add any shortcut i already have a bunch of i can see but anyways I'm just going to run the shortcut because you do have to because um it requires that so I just ran a shortcut boom and now we have to do is open up our settings application and head down over to shortcuts so it should be down over here boom shortcuts and once you guys are over here you can see now it says allow untrusted shortcuts now you want to hit enable on this because we are going to add a shortcut from the web so simply just tap on allow and that part is good to go It'll ask for a passcode and just like that, we can now allow untrusted shortcuts. So that is very important to be able to add this. And what we're going to be adding is this right here, encode to base 64. Now this is what we're going to be using to basically allow the sound to play. And it's really simple. All you got to do is tap on get shortcut. And it's like that. It'll add right here. So you guys can scroll all the way to the bottom, tap on add untrusted shortcut. And don't worry, it's perfectly safe and trusted. All right, this is basically from the web. That's why it's saying it's untrusted. Anyways, tap on add untrusted shortcut. And it's like that is now added. Now, if you head back over to the first tab, you guys will see it's now over there. So we're going to just tap on it right there. And from here, this is the shortcut. So basically, we're just adding it from the web. So we don't have to do all of this work because we can just go ahead and add the shortcut. And boom, we have all the stuff right here. Now, from here, before you're going to run it, of course, we do need some sound. So again, I will have the link down below in the description. So first off, I do have the air power sound from Brandon Butch. So I'll link this down below in the description. So... So that is that sound. Now to download it, all you got to do is tap on the three dots right there and there's a direct download. So tap right there and you guys will see download pop up again over here. So tap on download and now it is over here. So you guys can see that and to see where exactly it is, tap on the little magnifying glass and it'll open up in the files app. By the way, if you don't already have the files app, I recommend having the files app installed to be able to do this because this is where the downloads will go. Anyways, there you guys can see the files right there. Cool. So anyways, now there's other sound files I can download. So I will again link them down below in the description. So this one right here is for the Iron Man sound. So again, all you would do is tap on the little download button and it'll open up right here. You guys can see sounds.zip, tap on download. So then just tap right here to see the downloads. And over here, we'll find sounds. So that's the file that we download. So tap on the magnifying glass. And it is a zip file. So you guys can see there it is, sounds.zip. So we do have to decompress it. So to do that, all you got to do is tap on it. And boom, just like that. Now you have the sounds folder. And in here, it has all the files. So there's the welcome back, sir, from Jarvis and Iron Man. And there's the Wakanda Forever one as well. So all of these will be linked down below in the description. So now let's go back to our shortcuts. So there it is. And again, what we're going to do is go all the way to the bottom and there's a play button, all right? So tap on that play button and it'll play and you'll be brought back over here to your files app. And you want to just go to select the sound. So for this device, I will be using the air power sound. So there it is. Now, if you do not see it right here, you can go in and browse and look for wherever the file is so it might have been our downloads folder and there it is boom now again to see exactly where it is you're just going to tap right here and tap on the little magnifying glass in your safari to see where exactly it is but i'm gonna head back over to shortcuts and okay so anyways it's right there i'm just gonna go and copy it or just tap on it and you guys can see it brings up all this text. Now, this is what we need to copy, okay? Now, this is what we're using the shortcut for is to basically create this text because we do need it. So tap on the share button right there and just tap on copy. Simple as that. Now tap on done and tap on done over here. Now, you don't need to shortcut anymore. That's all you need it for is to copy that text. Now that we have that text, we're going to go ahead and create the automation. So tap on automation, create personal automation. And again, same thing. We're going to head down over to charger. And it is connected or disconnected, whatever you want to do. And we do it is connected. Hit next. And now what we're going to do is tap on add action. And what we're going to do then is going to type in text. Not speak text, just text, okay? It's a yellow icon. And anyway, it's going to tap right there. And over here in the text, you're just going to go and paste in that text that we just copied. So boom, it's like that. That part is done. Now tap on the plus. We're going to go and also search for base. 64 in code so there it is so i just typed in bas and it should pop up there it is it's like that that part is done now tap on encode and we want it to decode to be able to play the sound so there we go from there we're going to tap on the plus button again and this time we're going to have it play the sound so play sound so there it is and it's going to tap right there and if you're going to tap on show more it should show base 64 encoded and if you're going to play this 
you should hear the sound, okay? So if it plays a sound and you guys see the audio file right there now, then that means it is perfect and good to go. So now simply tap on next. And again, ask before running, make sure you disable this because we don't want it to run automatically. And then hit done. And that is basically it. Now again, you can do the same thing for when you disconnect your device. Make sure you select is disconnected instead of is connected. And you are good to go. So I'm going to exit out of here. If we're going to plug this in. Boom, there you go. Okay, so you guys can hear it through my microphone and it sounds amazing. So again, you can have any sound file. If you have any other sound file that you find on the internet, you can just go ahead and download it and just uh, select that file. But again, just for good measure, if you do want to add another one for basically disconnecting your phone. So again, I'm just going to do another one for disconnecting. All you got to do is run the shortcut again since we already have it over there. We're just going to tap on it and I'm going to do, let's go to the sounds and I'm going to do the uh, Wakanda Forever one. Okay, so there you go. There's that text. Again, we're just going to go and copy it by sharing it and hitting copy and tap on done. Go and tap on automation. We can create a new one, create personal automation, head down over to charger. And this time we're going to select is disconnected because that's what I wanted to do is when I disconnect my phone, I want to have that sound play. So hit next, add action. And this time I'm just going to go and type in text again. And there is text. We can go and paste in the text. Boom. And from here, just tap on the plus. We need the base 64 encode. So there it is. Let's go tap right there. And again, we want it to decode to play the audio. Tap on the plus button again. And this time we can have it play the sound, right? So sound. Boom. There it is. And again, tap on this button. It says base 64 encoded. Say so play to see if it works. And it works. So now let's hit next. Ask before running, turn that off. Done. And now if I go in and unplug my device, boom, just like that. And you are good to go. Now, if you do want to delete any of these automations, all you got to do is go back and swipe, delete, swipe, delete, and it's gone now. So yeah, really easy to do. All right. Hope you enjoy your custom charging sound. So exciting. Anyways, guys, be sure to subscribe for more. This is TechSpot and I'm out. Peace.